Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. As you know, I uh, brought these uh, topics, uh, tracing endocardium, uh, measuring ejection fraction, visual guessing of ejection fraction in different uh, uh, clips, at least three clips. The reason I brought this one, I want to uh, mention one important uh, subject, and that is uh, having correct knowledge. Having correct knowledge and enough knowledge is the fundamental for doing uh, any type of the ultrasound. Here, there are some cases that has been done by some uh, tech that they had uh, over 10 years, each of them over 10 years experience in the prestige uh, sites. Uh, and you can, note, you can notice that if you don't have enough knowledge and correct knowledge, skill and experience doesn't help too much. The experience just improve your skill and little by little if you learn from each of those experience somebody explain and add on in, in knowledge and if you go uh, study then that uh, experience help otherwise just experience the time and duration of experience is pointless actually in any field of the ultrasound if we have enough and correct knowledge the experience for three or six months in the hospital field that we can see many different cases is enough to become very proficient ultrasound or echo tech. Now let's uh, do it. Here is a patient, as you can see, apical two chamber, and uh, by atten attention on two chamber, the tech has done this uh, tracing on the diastole and systole. Is any of them is correct or uh, wrong or not? If is wrong. Which, uh, what is correct way, how we can fix it. Here we have uh, another one, apical for diastole systole, the take measure diastole and systole this way as you can see. Here as you can see it looks like hyperdynamic. First of all, how we can make sure this is hyperdynamic uh, apical four chamber view or we are uh, during systole we get it off axis and it give impression like that how we can make sure second we, uh, which of them is not correct if if it is and how we can fix it and correct one is what here we have apical two diastole and systole which one is not correct or which one is correct and where is the uh, mistake and how we fix it, correct tracing. Here we have another case, four chamber clear endocardium, take the diastole and systole this way, any of them is correct or wrong or not, and what give impression this type of the tracing and measurement uh, based on this, and how you can fix it, what is the correct way. Here is another two chamber, the ostal systole, which one is correct, which one is wrong, and what is the correct one, how you can fix Here another one, 2D, you can see here, almost uh, fairly, you can see in the cardio, but the diastole and systole has been traced like this. Which of them is correct, which of them not, and how we fix it, and what is the correct one. Here is the definite uh, contrast study in diastole and systole if assuming and diastole is that correct first of all is that you think is correct or not and if you assuming this is correct what about the systole is that correct if it's correct what the patient has based on these two measurements if it's not what uh, technique is correct one where is the trace border correct trace border on this one or this one here we have another not good window for chamber but anyway take uh, the uh, tracing and ejection fraction measurement that is the hostel that is system 
anyway do you generally when you have such quality of image and border do you do uh, tracing and ejection fraction on this type of the image or not if you do is this one correct or not and third if you don't have access to any contrast for making sure make help you get it better and define the border what option do you have if we don't have new uh, apical window can we do ejection fraction by simpson technique or this method in uh, subcostal for chamber view yes or no if no why not and if yes what criteria our image should have that in that case our measurement will be correct here we have uh, another subcostal full chamber view as you can see we have three bits and each bits the view is different which bits is the best for uh, pick it up and tracing in the cardium for uh, measuring ejection fraction and what is your uh, what are your landmarks for picking up which bits one of the situations that are not common for measuring ejection fraction is when we have intracardiac mass and most of the time most common uh, case is uh, intracardiac thrombosis left ventricle in this case you can see we have uh, apical thrombosis based on the 2d and this uh, contrast study is the same patient same view for chamber based on these two uh, information that you can see now uh, answer to the following questions now based on those uh, two clips previous clips uh, for measuring ejection fraction on that case which of those uh, techniques is correct we exclude uh, mass and thrombosis or we include for tracing and diastolic and systolic which of them is correct and uh, for measuring uh, stroke volume and cardiac output which of them is correct way and give more accurate uh, number parameters imagine uh, we measure left ventricle at the end of the is 120 milliliter and at the end of the systole is 70 milliliter and this mass we measure it by uh, 3d and other technique we take as you assume it is uh, 20 milliliter okay and heartbeat is 80 uh, beat per minute now based on that how much will be stroke volume uh, which technique is correct in each of them if we measure uh, this technique how much will be stroke volume and cardiac output and how much will be in this technique and which one of them is correct in the same case if we have 20 milliliter mitral regurgitation how how much will be our uh, cardiac output and stroke volume and how we measure it uh, the those uh, parameters we assume that only we have mitral regurgitation without aortic regurgitation 